Fertilization Sperm are ejaculated from the penis into the vagina just below the cervix and then swim through the uterus into the fallopian tubes and they join with an egg equals internal fertilization. The egg is surrounded by a thick protective layer that contains sperm binding sites. When a sperm binds to the egg, enzymes in a sac on the head of the sperm, acrosome, break through the protective layer of the egg. The sperm enters the egg and their nuclei rupture and join. A fertilized egg equals zygote. The zygote begins to divide by mitosis forming a ball of cells that attaches itself to the wall of the uterus. Fertilization and Implantitin Section 39-4 Uterine Wall Blastocyst Morula 4 cells 2 cells Zygote Ovary Fallopian tube Day 3 Day 2 Day 1 Day 4 Fertilization Day 0 Day 7 Implantation of blastocyst Egg released by ovary Early development Cleavage is the first major phase of embryonic development, it occurs in the fallopian tubes. It is the rapid succession of cell divisions, mitotic. It creates a multicellular embryo from the zygote. No growth occurs cells divide in given space. After 4 days, the embryo is a ball of about 50 cells equals morula. As the morula grows, a hollow fluid filled cavity forms in the center when this occurs it is now called a blastocyst. After 6 to 7 days, the blastocyst attaches itself to the wall of the uterus by secreting enzymes that digest a path into the soft tissue equals implantation. Cleavage and Blastocyst Formation Figure 22 Embryonic Development Gastrulation is the second major phase of embryonic development. The cells at one end of the blastula move inward. Organs start to form after gastrulation. Embryonic tissue layers begin to differentiate into specific tissues and organ systems. Gastrulation Three layers equals primary germ layers because all organs and tissue will be formed from them. Ectoderm, outer, becomes skin and nerves. Mesoderm, middle, becomes everything else. Endoderm, inner, becomes digestive, excretory, and respiratory systems. Membranes develop that surround, protect, and nourish the developing embryo equals amnion and chorion. Structures of Early Development Placenta After three weeks of development, the nervous and digestive systems have begun to form. The chorion has grown into the placenta. Placenta equals connection between mother and developing embryo supplying nutrients and oxygen and eliminating carbon dioxide and other wastes, respiration, nourishment, and excretion. The placenta separates the mother's and embryo's blood, but gases, food and wastes can diffuse across it. After eight weeks of development, embryo equals fetus. After three months of development, fetus has umbilical cord connecting fetus to placenta, most organs are fully formed, including muscles, and the fetus can reflex. Amnion has grown into amniotic sac filled with amniotic fluid that cushions and protects developing fetus. Later Development After six months of development, tissues are more complex and specialized, skeleton formed, heartbeat strengthened, soft hair grows over skin, and fetus continues to increase in mass. The fetus may be able to survive outside the uterus with life-supporting equipment. Last three months of development increase the fetus chances of survival. The fetus doubles in mass, lungs and other organs change to prepare for life outside uterus. Critical Times Childbirth After about nine months of development, the fetus is ready for birth. 
Oxytocin from the pituitary gland affects large involuntary muscles in the uterine wall, stimulating contractions equals labor. Cervix expands until large enough to pass the head of the baby. Amniotic sac breaks and fluid rushes out of the vagina equals water breaking. Uterine contractions become stronger and more frequent, forcing baby out through the vagina. The baby cries or coughs when outside the body, riding the lungs of fluid, so breathing can begin immediately. The blood supply through the umbilical cord dries up and it is cut leaving a scar on the baby, navel slash belly button. After birth, the placenta and empty amniotic sac are expelled by a final series of uterine contractions called the afterbirth. Labor dilation stage begins with onset of true labor cervix dilates. Fetus begins to shift toward cervical canal. Highly variable in length, but typically lasts over 8 hours. Frequency of contractions steadily increases. Amnionic membrane ruptures, water breaks. Labor Labor expulsion stage delivery begins as cervix complete dilation. Contractions reach maximum intensity. Continues until fetus has emerged from vagina. Typically less than 2 hours. Delivery. Arrival of newborn infant into outside world. Labor. Figure 2011. Labor. Placental stage. Muscle tension builds in walls of partially empty uterus. Tears connections between endometrium and placenta. Ends within an hour of delivery with ejection of placenta, or afterbirth. Accompanied by a loss of blood. Labor. Figure 2011. After childbirth. The baby begins to lead an independent existence, respiration, excretion maintaining homeostasis. The mother's pituitary gland secretes the hormone prolactin, which stimulates the production of milk in the breast tissue. Breast milk contains all of the nutrients the baby needs for growth and development during the first few months of life. Multiple births? Fraternal twins equals when two eggs are released and fertilized by two sperm during the same cycle. Not identical because different eggs fertilized by different sperm. Identical twins equals when one zygote splits producing two embryos. Identical because contain genetic information from same egg and same sperm. Multiple births can join twins Siamese twins. Genetically identical twins. Occurs when splitting of blastomeres or of embryonic disc is not completed.